Hi, it's Mrs Cox with this week's Art Challenge. And this week we're looking at winter landscapes, the countryside in winter. I'm going to start by showing you some famous artworks and talking a little bit about landscapes. And then if you look at the second video, you'll see how I had a go and I hope you'll have a go too. So I'm going to share my screen and then we're going to have a look at the PowerPoint. OK, so. Landscapes is what we call pictures of the countryside. And the first landscapes were wall paintings and they were painted thousands of years ago. So in ancient Assyria, this is a building that has got beautiful pictures of um, houses and countryside on the wall that's still there in a museum today. And here you can see one of the early Greek artworks with pictures of flowers and some Roman um, wall artwork with pictures of, I think, probably olive trees. So many, many years ago, people were looking at the countryside and painting what they saw. And even now, artists still paint the landscape. And different artists use all sorts of different styles. And I've just got a few here. So you can see William Turner was a really famous English artist who painted beautiful rolling hills and detailed trees. And his art looks very realistic. And then Vincent van Gogh is a very famous artist. And he uses big brush strokes to paint his very atmospheric landscapes. And David Hockney, we're going to be looking at in some detail today, is a modern artist. Um, he does a lot of his painting in California and he also paints in Yorkshire, which is not far from here. And he's famous for using really strong lines and colours to bring the landscape to life. So this is one of his landscapes. Now, Winter landscapes are really distinctive because the landscape looks so different in winter when the trees lose their leaves. And also, of course, sometimes we get snow and that makes the countryside look really magical and very different. So lots of artists either paint or photograph winter landscapes. And I thought we'd just look at some local winter landscapes. So. The first one is a picture of, we call that an avenue of trees, two lines of trees that you walk down in Heaton Park, looking really magical in the snow. Um, the second one is Crowcroft Park in Longsight, with lots of trees with no leaves on at all, looking very bare and dark against the white snow. And the last one is um, a huge mansion um, just the other side of Stockport called Lime Park and you can see the hill and the buildings and then again all the trees with no leaves on. So these are landscape photographs but we're going to look at also at some landscape paintings in winter. This is really famous. This is from 1565, so the 16th century. And this is about when landscape paintings, not on walls, but on canvas or um, other materials started to be more, um, more popular. And painting really um, changed a lot and became really important from around this time. And this painter, you can see he's got the dark lines of the trees, he's got the hunters and their dogs, and then you can see the whole wide landscape, you've got the birds, all the people, um, I think that's frozen water, so the people are walking on the frozen water, uh, so a very beautiful and detailed painting of um, a, a snowy landscape many hundreds of years ago. And um, this is a more recent one. This is uh, Victorian Times by Caspar Friedrich. And this one, I think you just look at it and you feel cold. The ship has crashed 
on the ice and there's a shipwreck and then the huge sheets of ice and look at the detail, look at the way he's drawn in the ice um, in that painting. Um, the next one has no snow. It's called the forest in winter at sunset. But again, no leaves, those gnarly, twisted, dark branches. Um, and you can just see the light of the sunset coming through, but it's quite a creepy, dark winter forest. This is very different. This is Hiroshige, who's a very famous Japanese artist. And this is a print. So he's carved a woodblock and printed this. And you can see the snow in the, um, in the air. You can see again the beautiful lines of the trees and the little breakdown here. And he's used colour really interestingly. So most of the picture is white, but then we've got the dark blue up here in the sky and the royal blue in the river. And then just a little bit of pink where he's done his Japanese writing. So very beautiful and a very different style. Um, this is a painting by Claude Monet and it's called The Magpie. You can just see the magpie there and you can see it's very famous because of the shadows on the snow and the way he's used his brushwork again to draw the very bleak empty trees with no, um, no leaves on. And um, this is really interesting um, set of paintings by um, a painter who's still painting today called David Hockney. And what David Hockney did was he noticed these three trees in a field in Yorkshire, and he just thought they were really interesting and really beautiful. And he painted them every season. So you can see the first one is spring. You've got your three trees. They've got quite a lot of leaves on. You can see the plants starting to grow in the fields. And then the next one is summer. And you've got um, lots of leaves on the trees. They're very green and lush and um, uh, very textured. They look soft and rounded and the corn in the field is bright golden um, as well and then the bottom left hand one is autumn uh, corn has gone very brown um, probably um, probably most of the corn has been harvested there's just some um, stalks left and the leaves are starting to fall and some of those leaves have fallen onto onto the field and some of them are still on the tree. But then the one of course that we're interested in is his winter painting, which is the three trees with no leaves at all. And here it is. Um, you can see there's very little greenery, there's a little bit of green in the cloud field, nothing on the trees and we can really see the shape and the strong dark lines and it makes a very dramatic picture and um, if you have a look at the next video I am going to show you how I had a go at painting a winter tree near where I live. <laughs>